Yo, what's up YouTube? I got an awesome little uh, ROM review guys today. It's a uh, Jelly Bam 6.7. It's uh, a ROM combined with other ROMs. So let's say we got Sanjamod, AOKP, Paranoid Android, a bunch of different ROMs all mashed into one. And we're going to go check and check it out, the main features of the ROM. And um, it even includes Rootbox, uh, Rootbox icons. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and check it out. Alright, so this is the basic, you know, lock screen on this ROM, just like any other Android ROM that you would get. Starts out with just the simple icons, you know, you get your little, or any Android 4.2 ROM, you get your little um, widgets on your long screen. It's pretty cool, I guess. Um, that's just a regular thing. Um, you get your shortcuts. That's also included. Let's go ahead and unlock it. Go ahead and go to the settings, first of all. It does come with uh, the regular trebuchet launcher, but I just like Apex a little bit better. So once you're in the settings, uh, let's see if it'll focus. It'll scroll down, and you'll come to something called you see all the customization options down here, like uh, BAM control, paranoid preferences, all that little, you know, good stuff on there. There we go. BAM control, let's go ahead and click that. Um, I do just, you actually can use the Pi controls as well. I don't have them enabled right now, but when you have them enabled, actually, I'll show you. When you do have them enabled, you can actually, right, give me a second. You can actually scroll up from the bottom. See that? Watch, and it'll bring up this. This is from Paranoid Android, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't tend to use it too often because if I do use it, I tend to hit the buttons down here, so I just stick with those buttons down there. Um, general interface. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the, the settings because I mean, it's just regular ROM. Um, so yeah, um, all the really cool settings. You know, kill all button hardware. Recent RAM bar. That'll come up uh, right here. So obviously I don't know why that's so full, but that's whatever. Um, dual panel mode, haven't messed around with that, but um, that's just the settings, you know. It changes all your apps that have uh, are enabled for dual panel. It changes them so that way there's one side of settings right here and something else right here. Probably does that for email too. I haven't really messed with that too much. Um, CRT op, I don't have that enabled. Um, let's go ahead and go to Pi controls. You can go ahead and change all this stuff, like the colors, the... Uh, actions, the gravity, whatever, the icons, all this stuff, you can change all this. It's very customizable. It's a huge feature for Paranoid Android. Lock screen, um, just, there's a, there's a few different settings. Let's see, see-through. Um, let's go ahead and check it out. See how it just shines through my background? So you just, it'll show you what's already in your background. I like that, but um, I used to be, used to be able to change the uh, opacity, but I, I guess they must have taken that out. Um, widget carousel, uh, if you guys have seen that before, that's when your widgets um, see how they carousel like that. that. That's cool. That's pretty cool. That's I think that's an AOKP feature. So yeah, but that's 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 pretty awesome. I'm gonna keep that actually. Um, a bunch of these other settings. These are kind of like, you know your regular everyday settings. Shortcuts, slider shortcuts, button actions. This. Say that some more. Allow rocks lock screen rotation. Um, navigation bar, nav bar, you can actually have that. Um, to enable it though, you have to go back out, paranoid preferences. And this is the this is where you can change your DPI and all that stuff, you know, different ones. You gotta go to interface and then you actually choose the nav bar up and then give it a second and it'll come up. Show up in a second. And there we are, if you got an nav bar. You can actually change the size of it too, make it smaller and all that. You can go ahead and use the nav bar. It works perfectly fine. Let's go back into this. Um, the nav ring, uh, hopefully you guys have seen what that is. That's when you go like this. Um, you can customize that. I haven't changed that because I don't really use the nav bar that much. Um, but it is it is a cool feature to have, you know. There's, there's a bunch of people that probably use that. Uh, this is the power menu. And you hold your power button, you get these settings. Expanded desktop. It's a pretty nifty feature. Gets rid of the status bar and the nav bar. Pretty interesting. Um, like if you if you if there's certain apps where you the nav bar is kind of bothering, kind of it doesn't go away. You know what I mean? And that's just a great feature to have. So uh, that's that's really good that they included that. Notification panel. You can actually change the transparency of the background. I have it set to 50%. You can change it to a goddamn 100. See how I keep on hitting that down there because the yeah. Uh, yeah, see, I keep on hitting that. Keep on hitting that. 
the pie controls. And now we can't get back into the settings. Here we go. Um, so yeah, you can change the background transparency. It's eighty percent, hundred percent transparency. Um, let's see if it changes. Yeah, it does change. It's not that. No it's not too noticeable. I usually just keep it at fifty. Shortcuts, just your basic settings. Basic, basic. Quick pull down. It doesn't give you the option to select which side, which is kind of annoying. You can pull it down on the right side. Shake that. Oh, that will give you access. And the left side doesn't give you access. Middle doesn't give you access, but the right corner does. So that's just great. Um, breathing SMS. That's a really cool feature. I just noticed that recently. So when you get a message or whatnot, it'll literally like breathe. It'll like pulse in the notification bar. So that's pretty cool to have. Uh, brightness slider. That's just like that. Uh, I have automatic enabled right now, but you can slide like that, and it'll increase the brightness or decrease the brightness. Notification count. Um, pretty simple settings, quick settings, let's go ahead and that. Tiles and layout, this is like CyanogenMod stuff, you can change all the tiles and stuff that you get, um, that you get right here, you can change all that easy, so, it's pretty interesting, it's pretty cool, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Clock, that's pretty cool, this is just, uh, when you click something, like click short actions, you can actually click that right there and actually take you to an app or something like that. Um, I believe I may have forgotten something for a second. Yeah. Sorry, it's under battery. Uh, yeah, battery icon style. I have it set to the speedometer, which is pretty cool. Looks like a speedometer. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Square mod. And then there's circle mod. There's, there's, a, there's a bunch of them. There's this battery bar as well. Um, root box. I just get, I like the speedometer. It's from the root box ROM. It's about the only thing that's included from Rootbox, I think. That's the only thing. I mean, yeah. Uh, you get exposed framework and DPI. Um, I think that might be specific just to the Galaxy Note, but I'm not quite sure. That basically is you can change like the DPI of the phone and stuff like that, which is um, already included with Parent of Android, so I don't really know if that's needed, really. Uh, Cronus Clock, that's for the lock, long screen clock that I have right now. That's for this. You can go ahead and change all the settings on that, so... We'll mess around with that right now, but go ahead and go to sound. Um, it's just a bunch of simple things like face down audio mode. That's pretty cool. And S Pen gestures, or um, this is specific to the Galaxy Net, obviously. But yeah, so you can get your gestures back if you really like those from TouchWords. LED, that's not for us. That's for like, Nexus devices. Um, vibrations, you can make your own vibrations by just tapping it and then setting it. Hardware keys. Obviously, that's the settings right there. And um, paranoid preferences. This is when you're talking about like changing the DPI of your phone, the UI of your phone. You can go ahead and just open paranoid preferences, and it'll, it will change it on the fly. Like I, I don't even think there's a reboot required anymore. Like it's, it, They've changed it that much. So let's, let's go ahead and try it out. Um, it's going to load up right here real quick. Real quick. Everything's smaller. It's on tablet UI. You see that? Tablet UI. Right side is... The quick settings left side status bar, uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, paranoid colors, uh, and the rest of all the rest of that. So interface and all that. So um, that is basically it for this ROM. And then there's some performance stuff, that which is just simple. You know, you can change all this stuff, and not for the average user, you you probably wouldn't use this, but um, yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Go ahead and check out this ROM. It is, just go ahead and search, I'll probably provide the link in the description, and you guys can go ahead and check it out. It's an awesome ROM, and there's a lot of devices that are actually supported for it, so yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead and check it out.